there hasn't been a new way to store fresh food in the kitchen for nearly 50 years. And 100 years ago, we learned how to use the fridge. But we kind of got something wrong. In the past 30 years, there's been a surge in the awareness and demand for healthy food. More and more people have been turning to fresh vegetables for vitamins, nutrition, and fiber as they learn that this produce helps reverse heart disease and many other ailments. The problem is, we're still trying to figure out how to keep vegetables fresh, even inside what we used to call the ice box. The earliest evidence of food storage is from 12,000 years ago. Over a period of thousands of years, food was first dried, then smoked, salted, then pickled. As containers for storing food developed, canning was begun. In the 1840s, someone put ice in a box, and that changed everything. Ice men and women came to cool your food with a block of ice. Then in 1920, Freon cooled the ice box, and meat, drinks, and veggies were placed in there for storage. At this time, vegetable consumption was not highly regarded. It was what poor people ate. Sophisticated city folk felt that a well-provided kitchen required a chicken in every pot. So, if vegetables weren't canned or pickled, they were frozen or bagged and tossed into the fridge. The widespread misunderstanding became cemented in the thought that vegetables can only stay fresh if they're made cold. But their drying out is actually the main problem. We try to fix that by placing clean veggies in water, where they sit with bacteria and begin to rot. We think that plants are like animals, in that they need to drink water, like we drink with straws. Well, it's partly true, and it works for animals, but the fact is, as fresh vegetables lose water through their surface, they also drink water from the air. If it's moist enough, they stay fresh outside of the fridge for days. When people are shown the fresh vegetables from under a glass, they are surprised the food is fresh from outside a refrigerator. They ask, what about the bacteria? Well, the veggies are not standing in water, where bacteria and protozoa thrive. These vegetables were washed, covered, and days later, not only are the vegetables staying fresh, they're actually continuing to grow. And the demand for fresh vegetables, it's growing too. People don't keep fresh vegetables out on the counter because they simply don't have the tool. But the Veggie Dome solves that problem. And now, we're ready to eat as many vegetables as we like.